Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. It is a shorter slated Sunday evening and daytime uh, NBA slate here for you today with the final day of the NFL regular season taking place. We got a few less NBA games on tap for you. However, still with a couple of night games this evening, I have found value in both of them and I am releasing that value to you absolutely free of charge. And we'll start it off with the Denver Nuggets and the Portland Trail Blazers tonight. The Nuggets come in as a three-point home dog in this one. Total of about 202 and a half points. And the big reason why the Nuggets come in as a home underdog in this one, despite the fact that Damian Lillard is still a game-time decision, might be in danger of missing his seventh consecutive game, is the Nuggets took the Golden State Warriors to overtime last night in danger of almost handing them their second loss of the season. Danilo Gallinari was able to come back for Denver. He should be good to go here despite the back-to-back but Kenneth Reed also in question tonight after being carted off last night on a stretcher of being elbowed in the head, a concussion-like symptoms playing very safe with him. You'd think the Nuggets would be a pretty good play here despite the back-to-back uh, with the fact that they've gone 6-3 and three against the spread on no rest this season, however. I think the total is a little bit safer with all the injury question marks in this game, not knowing Lillard's status and the like. Over 202 looks like a pretty good play on the over here in this one. That's where I'm going uh, with this game here because not only is uh, Denver 6-3 and three against Against the spread cashing uh, on the second night of a back-to-back, they're also six and three cashing the over on the second night of a back-to-back, and uh, nine and six cashing the over at home this season. I think it could be a very good opportunity to take advantage of a lower total as well here. Portland has cashed the over in five of their last seven games as well, and uh, the over is also eight and four in the Nuggets' last twelve games and four and one in their last five home games. So take the over here at two hundred two and a half. Finally, the other late game for you is the Los Angeles Lakers playing host to the Phoenix Suns, and the Suns come in as a one-point favorite in this one, total of 208 and a half. The loss of Eric Bledsoe obviously going to hurt the Phoenix Suns all season, probably going to knock them down to very much a lottery team in the Western Conference if they weren't already. The Lakers could be without their star Kobe Bryant in this one as well. He missed Friday's game with a shoulder injury. He could be in danger of missing again, and if he does miss, I think the Suns here are the play, despite the fact we're being played pretty bad without Eric Bledsoe so far. We obviously know the Lakers, one of the worst defensive teams in the league. And the over does hold some value in this one as well because of how many points the Suns have given up on the road this season. But they can hold the Lakers to around 100 points like they did in their first meeting, which they won 120 to 101. I see a similar style game tonight, just not as much of an easy win here for the Phoenix Suns. LA is only 6 and 12 against the spread in their last 18 home games, and uh, some of those dating back to last season. So if Kobe's out tonight, I think the Suns can take advantage here. They're 4 0 and 1 against the spread in their last five games against the Los Angeles Lakers. So they lay the point with the Suns over 202 and a half between the Dungets and the Blazers. Those are your NBA picks of the day. Make sure you check out my other play as well. There's still time. I on one on Miami and Washington as well. Six o'clock Eastern start over there. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.